Jason Cottrell, CEO of Orium. Uh, we're the leading consultancy and system integrator for Composable Commerce, and I'm here with Katya Berlin, uh, Vice President of Strategy and Business Transformation at APP Group. Thanks for joining today. Thanks, Jason. Nice to be here. Yeah. So yes, I'm Katya Berlin from APP Group, and uh, we house the Macage and Soyen Kio brands, a uh, luxurious uh, outerwear brand. T terrific. And, and as an outerwear brand, uh, can you tell me a bit more about where you sit in the market? What's the, the unique value proposition for consumers? So, you know, we're Montreal founded, so we're a Canadian company. Uh, we know cold and we, <laughs> we know that people want to wear more than one jacket and have multiple uh, options in the winter because winter is very long in Canada. And then we uh, branched out and made sure that our coats were technically strong, luxurious, and uh, we guarantee them for, for life, basically. Terrific, thank you. Uh, and, and you moved to a mock-based approach. Uh, what were you looking for in your transformation? What did you want to enable for associates, for consumers? What we wanted in the vision was that it was very seamless to the customer. So whatever we were doing in the back end, they had no clue, but they needed to know that uh, it was solid, we had a foundation, and no matter where they shopped, from a store perspective or from a you know online perspective, that it was always the same experience and they were gonna get the quality service and the quality products delivered to them wherever that may be and whatever they chose. Terrific, and, and what were some of your learnings through the process? Well, going from old type of implementations where you're set in stone and you do three year project plans and you think that things are gonna go a certain way. We needed to transform and I think my training in agile and being a scrum master sort of came into play because you need to sort of turn around really quickly and be able to modify what you thought was gonna work to you know something really different and be really open to try new things and almost be um, sort of willing to try an experiment and if it failed you knew that you can catch up pretty quick you can start and stop versus older technologies where if you're down one path you're kind of like set in stone makes sense um, what was the reception internally I'm, I'm curious if there's anything that surprised you I think it surprised me that because Mac is so new I would say and relative um, we are in the fashion business, so we're not in the tech business. So the owners and founders, uh, it's not that it was a, a tech project, it was a business project. It was how do we make our brand um, ensure that we're growing, you know, and with our systems and able to offer like a cool, uh, seamless way to transact with customers. And it all came from the idea of being in stores where there was no real cash register area. It was just helping the customer and, and being very um, aware of what the customer needed as opposed to focusing to bring them back to that cash register. And the whole idea came from that is how do we make it seamless? And how do we make it that it's cool to come in stores and not have to run around looking for that cash. It's really look at the product and have all that information about the product at like arm's length. So our sales associates are that much knowledgeable because they know about inventory. They know where it is. They know where we can find it. They know how it's made. They know where it comes from. I mean, it's just like endless possibilities. That, that makes sense. So it's so really at a core kind of enabling that multi-channel, a seamless multi-channel, multi-brand strategy. In fact, both dimensions in your use case. Exactly. Let's look forward a little bit. So, so with a mock approach, where do you see that in unlocking new potential for APP Group? You know, I think if I had the full answer, I would have a crystal ball. So I'm not really sure where we're going in the future. What I do know is that it allowed us to be able to be flexible and change rules or ways of how we wanted to interact with customers depending on our brands and as well as our channels. So you did mention that we have multiple channels. So we do have retail stores, we have our online, we also have a wholesale business. And what I think having this Mac sort of foundation is that we're able to do quick things and be agile, such as leveraging our inventory um, across different countries and a different countries as well as channels. So from wholesale to retail. And so the customer may be sitting in their house let's say in Florida, and they decided that it's cold for them. So they want to buy a coat. 
they don't know where it's coming from. It could be coming from a store in the U.S., it could be coming from our warehouse in the U.S., but it could, could be coming from our warehouse in Canada, and it could also be coming who knows from where. So, but they don't know, they just get a luxurious coat and they're happy. And so what you know, the technology enabled us to do is to create all those rules behind the scenes and make it so much easier for that customer. Let's dig into that a little bit. So partnerships, whether it's a systems integrator, whether it is kind of ISVs, tell me a little bit more about the role of partnerships in your transformation. I think it's crucial and it's the number one thing. I think partnership, as much as we're talking about tech and we're talking about architecture and we're talking about systems, there's a human component that is essential. And any project is only successful because of that human component and building trust and having faith that your partners that you're choosing are gonna be there to support you and get you to finish line. And that without that, you, you just don't make it. Okay, and then I know sometimes what brands are concerned about is what, your team. Can you tell me a little bit more about what kind of team does it actually take for you to run this in-house day to day? So I'd like to reference to my team as uh, lean and mean because we're you know much smaller than what you would think uh, a team in order to you know, sort of implement Shopify, new store, so basically a web platform, a POS, an omni-channel, all integrated into your ERP, which is your foundational finance and inventory, would take like a mountain. And mm -hmm. it is really the fact that we're so agile and that it is composable, and mixed in with a team such as Orium, who really helped us get uh, and leverage you know, the best out of every team member. And it's really, you know, a partner that is almost like you're not sure if they're part of your team, but they're not, but they are. And they're there and you can count on them. And that for sure helps uh, the dynamics and helps the teams achieve great things. That, that's very helpful insight. Thank you so much for sharing the story of your transformation. Really appreciate the time, Katya. Thank you. Thank you.